Our next speaker is entering his eighth year at the University of New Orleans, earned Southland Conference Coach of the Year honors in 2017, won the prestigious Eddie Robinson Award from the All-State Sugar Bowl, rated New Orleans Sports Hall of Fame in the same year after leading the Privateers to the Southland Conference Championship and the NCAA Tournament for the first time in over two decades. He led UNO to the quarterfinals of the CBI Tournament a year ago. The Privateers open next Tuesday night at Lakefront Arena against Spring Hill. Please give a very warm welcome to Mark Schlesinger and a special guest. Mark. Thank you guys for having us. It's always uh, an incredible honor to be here. Uh, such a great uh, organization and obviously uh, everybody being supportive of the University of New Orleans and our mission uh, here is so important. But incredible opportunity for us to start the season. Uh, I'm going into my eighth year, which is incredible uh, for me at how quickly time has flown uh, from coming uh, to take over this program and, and really some labeled it a resurrection. I labeled it a renaissance. Uh, to take the program back uh, from where we were when we got there uh, seven years ago into the NCAA tournament to be in back-to-back -back postseasons for the first time in over 20 years has been uh, a miraculous accomplishment and the credit goes to our student athletes and our, and our coaches. They've done a phenomenal job uh, but it's been great to be able to uh, really come in in a city that I love uh, dearly uh, in, in a place that uh, I think I would be happy and, and content being that the rest of my career at. Uh, and it's just an awesome opportunity. We've got a ridiculously crazy, uh, tough non-conference schedule again. Uh, we, we talk a lot about this in recruiting with our team that uh, in three of the last four years we've been in the top ten in the nation in non-conference strength of schedule. Uh, we really believe uh, the, our core values of going out and challenging the guys uh, in a non-conference gives us the opportunity uh, to go win games in the NCAA tournament and to get to where we need to go. Uh, we know that we're a one big league in the Southland Conference and we know that we've got to prepare ourselves uh, to do so. So uh, we, we open up with Spring Hill Tuesday night uh, in a doubleheader with our women's team uh, and then we travel to Northwestern to reopen uh, the newly renovated Welsh Ryan Arena and that game will be on the Big Ten Network as well uh, on Thursday night and then back home again on Monday night against Pensacola and then to UAB on Wednesday. Uh, we've also got home games with Louisiana Lafayette and South Alabama, a couple of our old Sun Belt friends uh, in that, and then traveling to Pittsburgh, Baylor, uh, and Tulsa. So we've got a really uh, strong strength of schedule in the non-conference, but we've got a really good group back. Uh, Scott is here. He's going to speak to you on behalf of our team. Uh, I think one of the things that, that not only uh, that, that we can be proud of on the floor, but off the floor as well is, you know, we've graduated every senior I've, been, I've had in my seven years except for one. Uh, so we're well over 95 percent of our graduation rate uh, we're in the community we do a ton of stuff uh, really to work forward uh, to build a program and do it the right way uh, and the proof is in is in our student athletes and when you see them and you see how hard they work on a daily basis the things they do to build the program uh, it's it's very uh, uh, gratifying for me and our staff uh, to see that happen and i hope you guys can come out uh, and support what we're doing i know that uh, mr Rowe has brought uh, schedules and stuff on the tables that's for you guys to take with you and spread the word uh, and, and be a part of what we're doing but it's a wonderful opportunity I think we got the best facility in the state to watch basketball and be a part of and uh, we got things going the right direction with preseason pick third in our league uh, which uh, I think we, we, our guys took it as a little bit of an insult I think they wanted to be picked first I think they expected to be picked first uh, but our group is led by a, a good senior class Scott's obviously the anchor of that I uh, haven't been with us now as a fifth year senior. Uh, he's a special, special young man uh, who's got a bright future, not only playing basketball for us, uh, but then playing professionally and then uh, coming back and coaching us. I've already signed him up and recruited him uh, to come back as a graduate assistant for us. Uh, his mom and dad have signed off on that, so I'm excited about that. And uh, so uh, and with that, I'll let Scott speak on behalf of our team. Scott plays on student. How's it going? My name is Scott Plazon, Jr. I'm presently a fifth-year senior for the UNL Privateers. Uh, I'm power forward. Um, just some things from the team. You know, as a young age, parents always taught me early bird gets the worm, and that sits close to the heart with uh, Coach Lessinger. We get up every morning at 6:10, and we're up and at them. You know, got to be there early, ready to go. Team never really complains. Always ready to go. Uh, from 
a personal standpoint, and I can talk on behalf of my team as well. We never really back down from anyone. If anybody wants to play us, that's fine. You know, we come we come with the same chip on our shoulder, no matter who we play. Low major, high major, we're always ready. Coach prepares us every day. Uh, he doesn't prepare us for the easy games. He always prepares us for the championship. So that's one thing that always sits close to us, and we work for every day. Thank you. Coach, I know you're not affiliated with this at all, but some of the stuff that you read about that's going on in court with college basketball, how concerned are you about that for the game in general? And where do you think all of that ends? Do you, do you believe all of that to be true? I'm just, I'm just curious from a Division I coach's standpoint who is always recruiting, you know, what is your take on all of this? Do, do I believe it all to be true? Yes. Yeah, it's all true. And that's probably just uh, a tip of the iceberg for it. I think I, I, I can only talk in 100% in uh, honesty regarding my world and my job. One of the, my favorite things besides living here and getting to eat at the world's greatest restaurants and have a festival, two festivals a weekend and be right across, this, live right across here from universities, I can go to bed at night every night and not have to cheat. I don't have to cheat to win the championship. I don't have to cheat to win to go to the NCAA tournament. I don't have to break any rules to succeed. And I feel bad for my colleagues that have to do that or feel as if they have to do that. Uh, because in the end, they got to live with themselves, and it's just, and it's always disappointing uh, to see that. I, I hate, I hate it for my profession that, that my colleagues choose to take shortcuts. Uh, because the guys that I've coached haven't asked for a shortcut. They've asked for me to care about them, to love them, uh, to hold them to a high level of expectation, uh, and to hold them accountable. And, uh, and we've had great success in doing that. Um, but I think, I think. Everything that you've seen is, um, uh, Coach Krzyzewski referenced it as a blip. Well, it's a blip because it's just a very, very small piece of what actually goes on. Uh, and there's a million blips um, that goes on, unfortunately, um, that, that doesn't lead up with, it doesn't mirror or run in alignment with the things that our governing body uh, claims to want to hold people accountable to. And uh, I think they're struggling with where to find uh, how to grasp it and get it right. So that part's disappointing. Any other? Thank you all so much. I'll see you Tuesday. Oh, one more. Yes, sir. I've got I've got the living legend himself here, uh, but uh, I know I know our games are, are all streamed on UNOPrivateers.com. Uh, all the home games you can watch online, audio uh, by the golden voice of UNO basketball, Mr. Jude Young, uh, will be uh, broadcasting our games and keeping me in line uh, during the games and pregame, and then certain games obviously when we're on the road, when we're on the national TV packages and the ESPN three are generally pretty easy to pick up. So thank you guys so much. Appreciate it.